Hello again, lads. Another Burnley player that you've bought. Um, Dara O'Shea, let's get into it. Um, I don't feel like he's a player ready for the Premier Re Not ready is a bit harsh, but put it this way. He was part of our defence last year and our team last year and our defence was woeful. He was part of that. Um, the thing with Dara is he started the season completely out of his depth, but then did get better as the season went on. So you might continue on that trajectory and, and keep seeing him getting better and better. I do feel like he would have benefited from a year in the championship. Put it this way, the first, the, well, the only two games that he's played in, uh, the first two games against Luton and uh, Cardiff, we won comfortably and he was fantastic. Um, but in the Premier League, he never really played that well. It was a bit weird with Dara in the Premier League because what he used to do is he'd play well for 89 minutes and you'd think Dara's getting better, you know, he's getting really, really good. He's a lot better than what he was. But then every single game, more or less, and I'm not even exaggerating, like pretty much every single game, he would have a lapse in concentration or, you know, he'd, he'd be away with the fairies, as we used to call it on the podcast, and he'd make a mistake. One of the lads um, used to joke that he's got lift music playing in his head um, in these moments because he'd, he'd always make a mistake. And, and as you saw with Muric yesterday, all right, it's a goalkeeper, it's different. When, when a goalkeeper makes a mistake, it's always 100% a goal. And we did say, by the way, that Muric said I had, a, I had a mistake in him. Um, but Dara is the same. Dara has mistakes in him, and he will make mistakes at the at the top level. He will make mistakes in the Premier League. Like I said, he has got better as as the Premier League season went on last year. Ultimately, he still wasn't good enough, and I did want him to stay because I do feel like he'll be an absolute beast in the championship, or would have been an absolute beast in the championship. And and him and Esteve would have probably been the best two defenders in the championship, and easily the best defensive partner partnership in the championship. Um, but he's obviously decided to go to the Premier League and he always really wanted, I think, because he was twerking for Brentford, then he was twerking for Wolves. Originally told Ipswich he didn't want them because he wanted Brentford and now Ipswich was his only option. I mean, I quite like Ipswich, I think you're a good club. He's ended up saying, no, no, I'll, I'll go there then. He obviously wanted out and that, that's fair enough. He wants to test himself at the highest table and I, and I respect that. Um, I just wish we'd have done it a lot sooner. Um, but yeah, in summary, he's good, he's getting better, probably not quite Premier League level though, and if you're playing him week in, week out, I'm not sure what the plan is, you probably will see him make quite a few mistakes. A lot of it is be passing the ball out from the back and then, you know, it going straight to the opposition player, or sometimes dallying on the ball, or getting stupid red cards like he did against Everton at Goodison Park. So, yeah, interesting to see how he develops. I did, I did think he was getting better, and I think he would have helped himself with a year in the Championship to kind of like rebuild and regress and keep improving and then get back to the Premier League. But, yeah, obviously he's gone to Ipswich. I just hope for your sake he, um, he's learnt and doesn't make as much mistakes as he did because, like I said, you obviously saw what happens with Muric yesterday when he dallies and, yeah, we saw that last season as well. But, yeah, good luck with Dara. I'm sad to see him go, but kind of expect it. If you don't want to be here, if you don't want to be here.